What in the heck happened? I was just driving, man, and like out of nowhere, I felt something hit my car, and like I just started swerving across these lanes from like back there, and like I was screaming in my car, like I don't know the fuck. And then that car um, pulled up like about another hundred feet, and like I got in my car, and I was like, what the hell? And like they literally just got out of their car and started running south. And, like, okay. And I called my dad, and my phone just died, but he should be on his way. But literally out of nowhere, like just felt someone hit my car. No, they hit you from behind. Yeah. No, they Let's go figure out who this is. It's probably stolen. No one in my luck. Probably drunk or somebody was in the rocks. Took off. Lincoln 533, copy 26. Go ahead. Triple six, Tom Zebra Boy. 10 4, are you 10 4? This is a possible offender. Is it 3 4 1 5 1 2 3 4 1 5 1 2 Trainer reported his vehicle stolen. <laughs> yeah, 10 4. Ooh. Jeez. Smoking a little weed. A lot of little weed. Maybe it wasn't even stolen, it was just high as shit. It's not stolen. The guy lives right up the street. He just tried to call in. The, he just called right now to, to, re, to report his vehicle stolen. So, what does this guy look like? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yep. And then the pipes down near the gas pedal. Yeah, there's the grinder. Okay, there's my PSA. He's going to hang out with you for a second. Um, I'm going to go over to this guy's apartment and talk to him about his stolen car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Hello. Hello there. You What's talk? going on? Okay, so um, are you here for the stolen vehicle? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Give me one sec. I'm meeting with the officer right now. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. So um, I was over at my friend's house over here. Okay, at, this, at these apartments? Yeah. Okay. At, uh, and I came out to my car. Okay. Because I don't have my cigarettes with me. And my car was gone. Okay. And then when I called the vehicle department, they told me it had been an accident. So it's somewhere right around here. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you have an idea on you, sir? Yes. You still live in Alamogordo? No. Where do you live now? I live right up on uh, Manal. I just haven't got a new ID yet. Um, I'll be brutally honest with you. They saw you run from the car that you crashed. Okay. So cut the shit. 
What happened? I've been at my friend's house. Most of the night. I've been drinking. I'll be totally honest with that. Okay? But I came out to my car to get some cigarettes, and my car was gone. You sure? I'm not trying to be rude, but I've been no, doing this I, a long time, and you're flat out lying to me. And honestly, I'm just getting more and more upset with you. I'm not lying to you, officer. Which means I'm just going to add more charges for filing a false police report, which is a felony, by the way. So do you understand? Do you want a felony, or do you want a DWI? Because you're going to get a DWI no matter what. It's just a matter of if you're going to be honest with me, because I I'm know you're lying to me. honest with you, officer. The guy you hit? I didn't hit anybody. Okay. I haven't been driving tonight. Okay. The guy just looks just like you wearing the same clothing. And if I pull the DNA off the steering wheel and everything else, it's going to have... Dude, really? Not to mention I can pull the cameras from the intersection right up there. Are you sure you want to go this route? Because once I do it, I'm just going to book you. You, you understand that? For following a false police report. So you want to start all over again or you want to keep going this way? I have not lied to you once. Obviously. Whenever you're ready. I'm only going to give you one chance. I already know what happened. You do whatever you want to do. It's your life. How do you want to do it? I'm telling you. I've not done anything tonight. Okay. Can you tell I don't believe you? I, I don't care which, if you believe me or not. Okay. All right. Well, let's get one thing straight from my report. Where was your vehicle parked when it was stolen? Right over there. Which is? About three spaces down. Three spaces down. Okay, and uh, who do you think took it? I have no idea. Okay, where are your keys at? In the car. You always park your car with the keys in it? No. Okay, because the keys are still in the car. Yeah, I know they're still in the car. <laughs> right, because when you I'm left, not saying anyone stole my car. When you left them in there. Okay, they didn't hotwire the car. Okay. I made a stupid mistake. I drove my car to my friend's house, and I left the keys in the car. Okay. I'm just waiting for the other officer to get here so we can get this started. Amazing. Lincoln 533P. Check for a 47, or I'll do it myself. <laughs> it's a 2047 unit. It's a 2047 unit. We're trying to go We're going to be at the 3501 Wantabo 20, just on the south side of the lot. 
Okay, um, there's going to be another officer showing up here. He's a DWI cop. He's going to be talking to you and giving you some tests to determine mm -hmm. if you're impaired by the alcohol that you've consumed this evening, okay? Uh, um, just to confirm, you want to report your vehicle stolen? Can I answer my phone? Might as well get it over now. You said 12? Yes. And what apartment is it? Ma. Are you almost here? Alright. Well, because they're trying to bring up officers to determine whether or not I was fucking in whether or not I was driving or not. So I just need you to get here. Yeah, I am, but I wasn't fucking driving, so... Yeah. Yeah, he's, you know, standing in front of me being an asshole. So... I'm sitting on the east side, like, towards Chris's house. Yeah. Like, just south of the library. I don't fucking know. This dude's looking at me like a fucking wise, piece of shit. Call. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi. I'm Alex's mom. We yes, ma'am. Okay. Um. Here's the deal. Uh, he crashed into the back of a car. He ran, and then he tried to call 911 almost a matter of three minutes after the crash, saying his vehicle had been stolen, but he knew that it had been in, in a in a crash. The person that he hit is right over there, and uh, well, they basically watched him run over here. Uh, well, where's his car? It's right over there in the middle of Comanche. Oh. Yeah. Um, he's told me this elaborate story about a friend that lives in these apartments, basically. And then when he came out, that his vehicle was missing, but yet he called us a matter of minutes later, and you could actually hear the, uh, well, the 911 tape, we're going to pull it, but basically it's him out of breath from running away from there. And he called us literally 60 plus seconds after the crash. But yet somehow he knew that his car was in a crash when he was reporting it. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of obvious that he's lying mm -hmm. to us. Um, the only problem with that is that he's trying to falsely report his vehicle stolen, which in itself is a crime also. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to save him the trouble of trying to be honest, but it looks like I'm going to have to book him on the other charge also. This is officer here is here to do the DWI investigation, so if you wouldn't interfere with it, um, no, 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 no. and then we'll go from there. If I could take a 
I really just don't want to argue with him, and I don't want to get lied to. I've been doing this way too long. But. It is what it is. We've all been young and done stupid stuff before, but. Sir. Is this what's going to happen right now? Yes, this is what's going to happen right now. No, 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 fuck it, Phil, it's right. Okay. Alex, okay. Alex, hang on, can I talk with him for just one second? No, ma'am, I'm sorry. Alex, He's honey. made his decisions tonight. Okay, so one more time, you want to report your vehicle stolen? Honesty is the most important thing that you can do right now, honey. And if, if he agrees to go with you, can he not have the handcuffs He's, he's not really He doesn't agreeing. have a choice. He's doesn't have a choice. He's under arrest right now for DWI, and I'm going to have to book him for filing a false police report, too. Can we... It's, that's up to you. If he wants to be honest, that's one thing, but I have to do my job. And if I someone feel... commits a crime, I have to charge them with it. And he's committing an additional uh -huh. crime on top of the DWI and leaving the scene of an accident. Possession of drug paraphernalia. There's the pipe, the torch, the marijuana, the grinder. Pipe. Everything that's in the vehicle. Please don't lie to me. I've had enough of your crap. Straight okay. up. Was I in the car? <laughs> oh my god. Alex. <laughs> All right, ma'am. All right, so we're going to load you into this vehicle over here, okay? Can I give him? Yeah. Can I give him? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You can, you can give him a hug. Can I just talk to him? I haven't I mean, fucking done anything. Mom. Fucking done anything. No, no, no. Okay. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's put it up on me. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Alex. There's just too many facts leading to him. Are, are there things that I can take of his, or do if you have to? If he would like for you to have all of his property, we can do that. Can I do you want her to have all your property? Yes, sir. Okay. But what I want to ask is... <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm trying to be really, really cool with you, but unfortunately, I, I just really don't like getting lied to directly to my I'm face, not, especially when I'm everything is so cut now. and dry. Do you understand? You talk to you right here. And you're really, really young, and I get it. I mean, I am look young, but I'm old. Um, you want to put your legs in for me? You can talk to this officer here. Look, I'm the one that has to do the other report, okay? I'm, I'm trying to do you a favor by not charging you with filing a false police report. Do you, want to, do you understand? I get it when people are young, they do dumb stuff, and they make mistakes. But it's really obvious what happened here tonight, and you keep telling me the same story, and we all know that you're lying to me, okay? So, you're already in enough trouble, okay? I'm trying to give you every opportunity to not screw yourself and get more charges. Do you understand? Okay? It's just that simple. I mean, I don't know. How do you want to handle it? Okay, I'll do the, I'll do the paperwork. I think he's trying to talk and think it through. Just give him a second. Uh, I fucked up. I know. I'm trying to trying to minimize how much trouble you're in here. I get it. So what you're saying is that it, um, it, he messes up the... I'm not going to charge him with it. I don't... He's in enough trouble as it is. Yeah, you can go look at the car if you like, ma'am. I mean, luckily nobody's hurt. Um, he, he's saying that he's not going to charge you with filing a false report for your car being stolen. You say that it was not stolen. I mean, it's, oh, man. I can't put words in your mouth. It is what it is, man. Yeah. Are you okay, honey? You're really sweating a lot. Are you feeling okay? I'm so 
fucking nervous. Like. I understand. That's okay. I just want to make sure you're physically okay before we head This is normal, unfortunately. Out. What? This like, is normal quick. for okay. him getting nervous. Okay. I, I added the uh, plate to the other call. So I'm going to clear. If you want to change this 27.7 to a 47. Oh, I just completely logged on a 47. Oh, that's fine. I'll just clear it 10.8 then. Um, so for the phone... Obviously, I didn't know it. It was intentional, oh, yeah. but just call risk management. I'll notate it on the report that when I placed the phone in my car, I was on a hill and it slid off and crashed. Yeah. And they'll take care of it. They'll pay for his phone. They'll reimburse you either way. So if you go and get it fixed, just bring your suit to them and they'll reimburse you for the cost. Okay. okay. So I apologize. It sucks. It happens, but that's why we have things Alex, in place to deal with that. What's your work schedule tomorrow? Five. What? I work at five. Okay, so um, what's the usual procedure for... Typical process for a first DWI. It's a first. Um, he'll probably be out sometime around like lunchtime, I would say. Well, they're just looking for a service of Brian. Right. So what do I need, need to do? Or um, somebody get a phone will call. call. He's going to be calling you in, in a few hours, basically. We can write that down and give it yeah. to him. Use our phones for, I mean, you know, the speed dial. Nowadays. Of course. So what's the phone? And um, so, what about the car? We can go over there. I'm actually fixing to drive back over there if you want to go take a look at it. Um, it's not drivable at all. Um, the passenger side front tire is completely torn off the frame. All the suspension's been torn off and. Uh, so it's a two vehicle. He basically, three blocks down from the Arroyo, he rear-ended another car. Mm -hmm. And then they, he, he went into the median and the other vehicle went up the curb to the right. And then they both stopped. He tried to drive away, but his car gave out. And then he got out and ran over here. Okay, Alex. Can you send me the other I person's love you, so I, I will. Okay. All right. Well, good luck, Mom. All right. The hoodie, and then he looked right at you, and then took off running south yeah, through like, the Garcias. Yeah, like he looked at me, like straight, like looked at me for like a good two, three seconds, like hesitated, and okay. then like just started running. Okay, sorry, I, I just had to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so hoodie, and that's who the hell's that? <laughs> it just looked dark, like I can even tell. It just looked like. A yeah, I know. It's it's hard to from this distance. Yeah. I get it. Um, he eventually admitted to it, anyways. So, go from there. And then mom showed up too. He called his mom. So we're going to speak with her briefly as well. Okay. I'm going to go talk to mom. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.